What's going on guys? It's Fatty Mansi here from Real Results Fitness. And in this video, what we're gonna learn how to do is a Romanian deadlift. Uh, so with the Romanian deadlift, there's a few things that we have to remember. Um, one of the most important things that we gotta do is we gotta stay stable in our core, okay? So there's a lot of breathing exercise videos that you guys can search online um, to keep it very simple, especially if you're new to this. What you wanna think of when bracing is you want to act like you're going to get punched in the stomach, okay? So that's going to help keep your core nice and tight for a movement like this, especially as the reps get higher and you get more sets, you're going to get more tired, and you don't want to be moving around all over the place. So to brace our core, like I said, we just want to act like we're getting punched in the stomach, okay? Instead of inhaling here into our chest, we want to try to inhale and blow up our stomach, okay? Blow up our stomach. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to hinge at our hips and pick up the bar, which I'll do in just a second. But before we get into that, again, to review, we wanna try and take a deep breath, blow it into our stomach, brace, like we're, we're gonna get punched in the stomach, come down slowly, and then pick up the bar. All right, so let's put it all together. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Fill my stomach, hinge at my hips, okay? So you'll see I'm not bending over to pick up the bar and my knees are not locked, okay? So I'm not locking my knees to pick up the bar because we don't wanna put a lot of stress on our joints. So. My hand placement is gonna be just right, right outside the shoulder width apart. So I'm just coming down and picking up from here. We don't want to go too far out, and we don't want to go too far in where our wrists are inside of our body. Once I do this, you want to hang on to the bar for dear life, okay? You want to act like if you let go of this bar, uh, I don't know, the world's going to go to hell. So from there, what we're going to do is we are going to, see already if you come in a little bit closer, already right here, is a huge gap from where I should be. So I want to be as close to the bar as possible. So that way when I pick up the bar, it's almost dragging against my shins. Alright. What I'm gonna do at this point, I'm not gonna I'm not yanking it off the floor. I want to basically be pushing down through the floor. And once it gets to right above our knees, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thrust my hips forward. Look like you're just uh, rushing through the bar, okay? Attacking the bar. Once I get to, to my knees, I'm gonna attack the bar. Attack the bar. So again, what we're doing is a Romanian deadlift. So with the Romanian deadlift, it's not going to go all the way to the ground. With the Romanian deadlift, it's all gonna depend on your flexibility. Generally, you just want the bar going past your knees, below your knees, okay? If this is as far as you can go to start, that's fine, but you gradually wanna get lower and lower to where the bar is almost hitting the ground. mistake people will do with the Romanian deadlift, a stiff-legged deadlift, or a regular deadlift is help our set back too far at the top. That's something you do not want to do because it puts your spine in a very compromising position. So since this is a fairly light weight for me, I'm going to demonstrate on how not to do it. Okay. So usually everyone does fine until here and they feel like they'll get a much better stretch if they start doing this. Do not want to do that. That's going to ruin your spine in the long run. So what you want to think of it is push from the ground and then once it gets to somewhere above your knees, you want to attack the bar and squeeze your glutes. This is a great glute, ham and posterior chain exercise. 
So from the side. You realize how my head and neck are neutral? So I'm not looking up, okay? I'm not looking down the whole time. My head is just neutral where, where it stays comfortable. So I'm here and through. Here and through. And the last thing you want to remember to do, and one of the most important things is you want to make sure that you have a flat back. You want to make sure your back is not rounded, it's not too far arched. So what a lot of people will do, their setup is perfect, and then they'll roll their shoulders forward and go through the movement. Yeah. Like I always call it a lion complex. So you want to think of a big chest. All right. So with me keeping my chest big, all right, and looking in a neutral position, it's going to help keep my back flat. In the same breath, you don't want to arch your back. So you don't want to have, it's called an anterior pelvic tilt. You don't want to arch your back too much because that's going to put a lot of pressure on your lower back. A lot of women you'll see do that when they squat. It's gonna ruin your back. Don't follow what those girls on IG are saying. So I'm here, big chest. You see, even before I come up, I have a big chest. So that's a Romanian deadlift. Now, the difference between that and a stiff legged deadlift. My knees are not going to be as bent, so I want a slight bend in the knees. With the stiff legged deadlift, the weights are actually going to touch the ground, and then we're going to go back up. So let me do a few repetitions so you see the difference. Romanian deadlift. Stiff legged deadlift. You'll realize there's not as much of a bend in my knee with the stiff legged deadlift. If you're doing stiff legged deadlifts with a smaller barbell, preset barbell, it's gonna be harder for you to touch the ground unless you're a shorter individual. Uh, when you're beginning, stick with the Romania deadlifts and then you can experiment with the stiff legged deadlifts. Major key alert. Oh, we good now. Oh, we good now. Major bag alert. DJ Khaled. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys.